Hi everyone, it's me, Jocelyn Person here. Um, I'm here at the Tops um, location, location, which is the Jefferson um, Avenue, where there was an active shooter. So I'm with a eyewitness. Brady. If you want to introduce yourself for me, sir, uh, please. I'm Brady Lewis. So tell us, like, what happened? What did you see? Uh, after I left out the store, I heard a shot that I knew was a was a gun. And I looked up and I seen smoke and I seen a guy shooting people. Mm -hmm. Then I seen a security guard run in the store and then I seen the guy get smooched down and just started going like this, shooting in the store. And I heard at least 20, 30 shots, if not more. And then he came out the store and he took the gun and he put it to his chin. Then he dropped it because he had it on a rope. And then he messed around, took off his guns. He did something. I mean, took off his gloves. I said guns. Then he just put something on his feet. Mm -hmm. And then he got on his hands and knees and he laid down, put his hands behind his back. And then um, they arrested him. What else did you see? Like, um, how many shots did you hear? I at least, when I, after the first shot, I at least seen 12 shots because I seen just smoke coming, going everywhere. I just seen smoke and smoke. So I at least seen 12 outside, inside at least 20, if not more. We probably find out more information later. Cause, but I didn't have a phone on me, so I was just screaming for somebody to call the police. Um, do you know if, um, you know, a friend or a family member who was in there? Yes, I have my, uh, my uncle's uh, girlfriend is in there. I know my favorite singer, uh, Fragrance, hopefully she's okay. She's she's in there her daughter's in there i just got through talking to them so i'm hoping they're okay so at least three people in there that i i know that hopefully they're all right um yeah. i guess like what else like can you tell us because uh, obviously this is shocking to everyone clearly i see that you're in shock and yes. you can't believe it yourself no, so no um i have no idea why that guy would come up here and just take random shots at people I have no idea why he would do that. Um, hopefully he'd tell us later. I, I, I have no idea what happened besides him shooting at people. And you're about to walk in there, I right? just walked out. Oh, you just walked out. I just walked out and I crossed the street. And after I sat down and opened up my juice, I heard a gunshot. And I knew it was a gunshot, it was no firecracker. I don't know nothing about guns, but I knew that was a gun. Mm -hmm. And I looked, I seen smoke. I see, and I'm at this point in my head, I'm thinking this is a movie. Why? Why? Why do you thought that? Like just he, because? Because he had an army suit on. You don't really see too much army down here, except for at the armory. So yeah. I don't. You know, you don't see people in full gear, boots, glasses, the gun with the strap. Then I seen him shooting. And then when he went inside, not when I seen the security guy run, that's why I knew it wasn't a, an act. I seen the security guy run. He went in there shooting after him. This is just ridiculous, actually. It's just ridiculous. This is ridiculous. And obviously, like, as we can see right now, like, it's a shocking to, oh. like, everyone here in this community. Yes. Yes. Because it's not violence. It's not shooting violence down in this part in Cold Springs. You may get robbed, but there's no shootings really down here. So this is really out of the ordinary. Big time out of ordinary. And you seem you're still shaken up as I can I see that. Yeah. That this happened. And that could have been me. Awesome. It could have been me because I, I I could have just dropped my juice right there and I was gonna talk to the old guy that was there, but I just left for some reason. I just I just said, okay, I'm just gonna go. And you said that like there were like some people out in front just like people, hanging out. Yeah, well one of the people that were killed, I just saw him cross the street, one of the jitneys, he'd take people home. Uh, he went and got his car, and he went over there. I seen him pop the trunk, and that's when I heard the gunshots. Mm. And, he, and he got shot. So, yeah, this is uh, this is a horrible day, actually, in Buffalo and in America. This is horrible. This, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of this. People just going places and shooting people. Is this ridiculous? Aside from like what you know, what you've seen, like what else have you heard from other people? 
who might have been inside who just saw everything inside as well. Most of them that I talked to, they um, they was just hiding. <laughs> they was just hiding. So I really information is really I don't have none. So them talking to him, hopefully information will come out. But right now, I really have no information except for what I saw. Okay. And what I saw was ugly. There was a woman laying on the ground. There was another Did she woman. have like a child with her or? Luckily from what I saw, she didn't. But I seen a woman laying on the ground. And I see, cause I walked up a little bit close and I seen a whole bunch of blood. And I never seen a dead person before, plus with a whole bunch of blood. So that kind of messed me up. My guy, Deacon Tiki, Tini, I apologize, he was um, laying on the ground. Um, he goes to the church. Injured or he was just laying? He was dead. He got shot dead. They put the white sheet over him. Oh, wow. You know, so at least one person over there I know got shot. Wow. Got killed. Were you like close to him or? Yes, yeah, so he was a good guy. He was a good guy. He volunteered at um, State Tabernacle Church that I volunteer at. So. He, you know, he does jitney for people. He works at the uh, sneaker town. You know, he's a good guy. Doesn't smoke, doesn't drink, and doesn't bother nobody. He's not violent. And he gets killed by a gun. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. Unfair. It's definitely unfair. Uh, Is there anything else would you like to say, no. sir? Uh, we need to learn how to solve like problems with our minds. We need to use our heads. Because like, this is just ridiculous. Violence is not the key. Kids. Kids, Violence is never the key to anything. Okay. We, as, we as people need to probably study and practice Maya, African spirituality. Thank you. Appreciate yes. it. Thank you. Oh, Tisa. Hi. Oh, okay. 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 Just give me one second. All right, everyone. So that was it. Um, I'm here at the That's Tops it? Market. Yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Here at um, Jefferson Avenue, as you've heard, um, there was an active shooter. Started shooting people here at the Tops in at um, Jefferson Avenue. Um, we will get more information from you guys once that information. Um, Gets, has been available and whatnot. So yes, please tune in for our show tonight at six. Thank you.